What's up everybody? It's me Anthony here to talk about more spooky stuff during the spooky season and well, we're here to talk about House of Dolls. Three sisters reunite for a family inheritance only to confront their longtime issues. They're left to remain in a house to collect their money but instead are plunged into a nightmare they must survive. So I'm here excited for Exorcist Believer even though the Rotten Tomato score is terrible. I'm still excited. But my excitement has been even more diminished after watching this straight to VOD horror mess. And man, I don't even know where to start with this one guys, but let's try to talk about this movie, House of Dolls. So straight up, we're just gonna get this out of the way. This is a straight to VOD indie horror film. Um, the acting's bad. But I usually really don't harp on that too much in these kind of films because we know what we're getting. We're gonna get bad acting, we're gonna get bad CGI, if there is CGI, and bad, like, you know, the stuff bad. You know, I'm not expecting an Oscar-worthy, you know, like, film or anything like that. But in this film particularly, um, I don't wanna harp on the people too bad. You know, they're, they're acting, they're trying, you know, I don't know if it's their first time or anything like that, but uh, it's not good. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but uh, it, it's hard to watch at times. But let's try to get into the story that they're trying to portray in here. Towards the end of the film, it kind of comes together, but that first, first half, you know, it's, it's really hard to get through. So you have these three sisters who are estranged and along with their father who's on their deathbed or dead, it's not quite sure the, what they're trying to do in the film. Then you have the grandmother and they're all trying to get together so they can get their inheritance from their father who apparently built a doll house kind of thing. There's just dolls in the house and it's pink. So I guess that constitutes dollhouse, I guess. But along the way, we get split into three different types of stories in this film. We have the sister story as they're going to the dollhouse, and then we have a cop that one of the sisters apparently trusts and wants him to investigate what is going on because she has a feeling that there's something else going on. He goes off and investigates, though he looks like a just, you know, rent a cop kind of thing like he doesn't look like a real cop but again that's probably just because it's a uh, low budget straight to VOD horror film but then we have the last side story which has to do with the killer of the film the main killer I guess so you, you see him on the poster and everything he has like little spikes coming out of his little beanie that he's put over his face holes in it looking like uh, <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly mixed with the purge that's what we get here. And those three stories really make the movie really hard to watch because you're bouncing around between these three stories and none of these stories really make sense. And I know that they're all supposed to be connected somehow and you do figure out a little bit here and there if you're paying attention. And if you don't pay attention, I don't blame you. But you can see that they're supposed to be connected but they're so detached, at least they feel like that, from all the stories in this movie that you just feel like you don't want to even care about what's going on. The cop goes off and is talking to random people. The movie is edited in such a way where you feel like you missed something. There was times where I had to rewind and I was like, did, did I miss who this person is? Because they'll just introduce people and you're like, Wait, they're talking like to this person like they already know them, that they've seen them like two scenes ago. What's going on here? But don't worry, you're not crazy. It's just how the movie is edited. It makes you feel like time has escaped you. I just want it back. And then you have the killer story where he's just going around killing people. It's kind of revealed at the end why he's killing certain people, but there's also people in the beginning of the film who he's killing that I don't know why he's killing them. I don't know what connection they have to the other characters, to the story, just killing people just to kill people, I guess. If you know, let me know. Like I said, at the end of the film, they kind of tie everything together and you kind of know what is going on and what motivations certain characters have. But then at the same time, they tear everything apart and make you confused again. So. Don't know why I waste my time. But guys, that is House of Dolls. What did you think of it? Have you watched it? If you did, I'm sorry about that. What do you think about the killer? Was he unique, cool? Did he look like Machine Gun Kelly? Because I can't be the only one that thinks that I was like, 
instantly when I saw him. Machine Gun Kelly in a in a freaking beanie spike mask. <laughs> but guys, if you did like this film, which is really um, interesting and I really want to know why you like this film let me know in the comments down below but if you didn't like this movie or even if you did like this movie and you want some recommendations for good slasher films here are some recommendations of films that I really like that are in that genre and the first one is Urban Legends the series uh, either one or two of the Urban Legends I think they're both really good underrated horror films. I think as of late, they've gotten like a little bit of a following. A lot of people have been going back and watching them and realizing, hey, they're pretty cool. And another one in the genre, the slasher genre is an old classic, but that is the Scream franchise. And if I had to pick one for you to jump into, if you never watch the Scream movies, jump into the new ones. You know, I, the old ones are really good for me. I grew up with the old ones, particularly Scream 6, the latest one. That one is really fun check that one out but as always guys don't forget to like and subscribe we're almost at 2,000 subscribers i'm really excited for that and thank you again for all your help and support but you know what to do guys keep watching movies